Good morning, Pastor Kurt here. And scientifically, I know exactly how much sleep you need. You need just 15 more minutes. <laughs> Do you ever just lay in bed and say, oh Lord, please, can, can it not be that time this morning? Can I get 15 more minutes? Now, especially on Fridays, you're probably thinking that, but take heart, the weekend's coming, and it's a three-day weekend. But I wanna encourage you something, especially on a three-day weekend. Don't take a vacation from God. You know, sometimes we get busy and we do this little psychological thing where we actually take a vacation from God instead of taking a vacation to God. We delay obedience. We delay relationship. We're like, God, I'm going to put you on hold and just relax for a minute. I want to tell you, that's not the right thinking. Let me encourage you from the life of Abram or Abraham. It's, they're both his name. Here's what it says in Genesis 12, 4. So Abram went as the Lord had told him. And Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. Now, here's the thing. Abraham does best when he just obeys. And there's several of these verses. Abraham does his worst when he talks and manipulates and lies and tells his wife, hey, tell him you're my sister. When Abraham's at his best, he just goes. Look at Genesis 22.3. Early the next morning, Abraham got up, loaded his donkey, he took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. When he had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God had told him about. Man, that's really challenging. This is when God's testing his loyalty and saying, I want you to sacrifice the promise, sacrifice your one and only son to prove that you believe I can make the promise happen no matter what. And Abraham gets up early the next morning. On the day that God asked me to sacrifice my family, to show my loyalty, I might hit the snooze bar just a couple times. But here's what Abraham has learned. It's always less exhausting to obey. It's always better. The more you delay obedience, the more worn out you're gonna get. Have you learned that lesson yet? Have you learned that God's the refuge, that you're gonna find no other refuge better than his love, acceptance, forgiveness, and faithfulness? And as the story ends, well, God does provide. And it launches an epic line of faith. In fact, right where God provides is where the Temple Mount is to this day. That was the beginning of God being called Jehovah Jireh, the God that is our provider. Listen to me, my friends. Be obedient. Be quick to obedience. And you're going to find that God provides, He's faithful, and He's a refuge. In fact, can I encourage you on one practical thing? Get to church this weekend. There's going to be plenty of time for hot dogs and apple pie and honoring those who have given the ultimate price to our country. So do all that too. But come to church. Worship God. Get into the Word. Don't delay obedience.